In a state election bombshell, Rockhampton's mayor will run as an independent, shocking her closest ally. Anastasia Palaszczuk personally endorsed Margaret Strelow before she lost a bitter pre-selection fight. Tegan George reports. Even premiers need a pick-me-up during the hurly-burly of campaigning. Yeah, how are you going? <laughs> Which might explain why this morning Anastasia Palaszczuk only stopped to chat with Labor plants assembled earlier by a staffer. I have no idea about that. She was also caught off guard by Rockhampton Mayor and close ally Margaret Strelow's big announcement. The premier's failed pick now running as an independent after not making the cut for Labor. I haven't heard that. I'd, I'd find that surprising. I appreciate that this is going to mean I'm, I'm expelled from the Labor Party, so it's a very weighty decision for me. The LNP continues to capitalise on the scandal surrounding the Premier's partner, Sean Drapsch, not only worked for PricewaterhouseCoopers on Adani's federal NAIF loan, but on other major projects such as the Gold Coast Light Rail and Rookwood Weir. I have done nothing wrong. Sean has done nothing wrong. Talk about confused. I mean, it's muddle-headed thinking. In Mackay, Anastasia Palaszczuk tried to hose down talk of a conflict of interest, claiming she's merely honouring a pre-election promise to veto the loan. Adani themselves have said, we do not need taxpayers' money to build this mine. Morani MP Jim Pearce is fighting off One Nation and has locals urging him to make sure the mine goes ahead. Say to the company, put your bloody money on the table, guys. Let's get on with it because we're all waiting to have to get jobs. LNP senators have also weighed in, a sign the Premier claims they were in on the smear. If Adani can't get that loan, has Adani told you that will kill off the mine? Look, uh, I, I, I'm, not going, I'm not going to speak... Uh, uh, for Adani. On day nine, the Premier is far from the home stretch, but she will take a few minutes tomorrow to enjoy the Melbourne Cup alongside racing fans here in Toowoomba. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.